From decorative lights to busy stores, the holiday season is here, but warm temperatures aren't going anywhere. We'll also meet a local service member who's beginning a new chapter in their life in this Canyons News Micro. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Canyons News. I'm Devin Savage, and here's the latest from the Canyons News Desk. It's the time of year when we expect to see temperatures drop, but an 80 degree Thanksgiving has left some concerned. I sought out a climate scientist to get answers about what's causing our warm winter. An 80 degree Thanksgiving has left Los Angeles residents concerned with the effects of climate change. What's up SCV on Instagram posted this picture of a snow coated downtown Newhall in November of 1974. Will we one day return to having a white winter? I spoke with the climate scientists in hopes of finding out. Professor Mary Bates has taught climate science for 20 years and studied it for 40. Well, I've grown up in the Los Angeles region all my life, um, 60 plus years. And what I've noticed is a general warming. Um, and I also took quite a bit of geology courses and in geologic time, I've known that our planet has been warming. Uh, this leads us to our main question. Should we be concerned with the way that the weather is increasing? To put it simply, do not fear. Climate science suggests that weather increases and decreases in a cycle. There are different climates around the world, and ours is what's called a Mediterranean climate, which is always dry in the summer and autumn, and its droughts are common. Oh, yeah. Our climate is warming, but it's not to the danger place. Um, if you go back into history, you'll see our planet. Um, there has been, we still have glaciers on our planet. So we're still in an ice age, but it's an, it's an interglacial. It's in between. Science and history show that we are not in danger, but should be mindful and take care of our planet. This is Devin Savage with Canyons News. It's not often we get a white Christmas here in Santa Clarita Valley, but we do still have Black Friday. Were shoppers filling their carts as usual? Malia Semena headed out to see if our second COVID holiday season was affecting the sales. Today is usually one of the busiest days of the year. It is Black Friday, where people are expected to fill their shopping carts in person. Um, I do a lot of Christmas shopping, shopping for my wife, my kids, cousins, um, whatever I, I see in mind to get. And that's about it. It's basically for the family and friends. It is the day after Thanksgiving, regarded as the first day of the traditional Christmas shopping season in which retailers offer special reduced prices. Why is it that people choose this over online shopping? I don't like doing it online because sometimes they don't have nothing on stock. That's the reason why I don't do it. Um, I'd rather just go out there, you know, hit the other stores where I know there's going to be the product that I need so I can purchase it right away instead of waiting online. Black Friday shopping is a tad different this year due to the continuous pandemic. As you can see, there is still a line for stores, but not as long as we are used to seeing before the pandemic hit. Oh, this year there's hardly anybody out here because, you know, the pandemic um, is not as busy as it is right now, but who knows, maybe later. But that's the reason why that's the difference between the past years when there's a lot of people in line and it's so hard to get in there because there's things that you want and there's a limited time, unlimited uh, uh, stuff that you can get. So this year's a lot different. Have you seen a glow in the skies over Saugus the last few nights? It's not the Aurora Borealis. It's a radiant holiday tradition that reappeared on Wednesday night. Jeremy Thompson takes a walk in this winter wonderland. Every year it gets bigger, brighter, and busier at the Wakefield Winter Wonderland lighting display in Saugus. Well, every year except last year. Well, we're excited this year that we get to walk 
down the block and have this really neat uh, lighting going on for Christmas. It's yeah. really, it's up, it's really cheery, it's really just people walking around, it's really cool. A year ago, during some of the worst of the pandemic, staying safe required many to stay home. Traffic was down on Wakefield Court and some of the houses were not decorated. But now, the revelers have returned and they're not just coming from around the corner. We're from Fillmore and we choose to come to Valencia rather than going the other way. Just because Valencia has more to it here than like Christmas tree lane over there. It's dying out. <laughs> We've been coming here probably for like four years already. It's something traditional already. A tradition that's as enjoyable for those who've come a long way as it is for those who live just around the corner. It's just happy. Yeah, it's really just happy. really cool. Yeah. These very nice people were just like, do you want to come on the golf cart with us? We were able to ride around like the it's whole entire time on the so golf fun. cart. And what's better, a golf cart or a one-horse open sleigh? The, the golf cart. The sleigh. The sleigh. The sleigh. Oh, no, no, the I sleigh. still love the, the golf cart. Really? No. Golf carts are good. Whatever the mode of transportation, a visit to this neighborhood is providing a welcome escape for those who've had a long and hectic year. This is a hard week and this is a really nice time to spend with my girlfriend and I think it's really nice out here. And just take a, an hour off your day and come enjoy yourself here, it's really nice. The lights go on at Wakefield Court, which is off of Copper Hill Drive, at 5 o'clock each evening and stay on until 10. For Canyons News, I'm Jeremy Thompson. And finally, after a career of service to his country, a local Air Force colonel is taking on a new mission, retirement. Kenna Miller has the full briefing. Retiring after a life dedicated to the Air Force is yet another mission for former Air Force Colonel Dave Kelly, although he has found peace within the quiet suburbs of Santa Clarita. Growing up, Kelly dreamt of becoming a cop, but due to a few obstacles, he had ultimately decided to enlist in the Air Force. Since a very early age, I had always wanted to be a cop. Uh, however, in order to be a cop, I had to be 21 years of age. Uh, so coming out of high school, uh, didn't necessarily, wasn't able to enter into being a cop, a civilian cop. Uh, and college necessarily wasn't for me. I wasn't the most academically astute individual in high school. Um, and so instead, in order to pursue my dream of being a cop, I uh, decided to enlist in the Air Force uh, as a security police officer. Even though joining the Air Force wasn't his original plan, after enlisting, Kelly knew this was exactly what he was meant to do. While I entered the Air Force for purely personal reasons of, again, being a, a security pillar, excuse me, being a cop in the civilian world, uh, what I found when I got into the military was uh, the cliche higher calling of life. I found that uh, serving my country uh, was something that I got great satisfaction out of. After dedicating years of his life to serve his country, Dave Kelly hastily moved up to the rank of Air Force Colonel and earned the opportunity to serve in different locations all over the country. The three favorite locations that come to mind would be Colorado Springs, Colorado, uh, Boston, Massachusetts, and Washington, D.C., Virginia area. Um, each of them for different reasons. Eventually, Dave Kelly came back to California to begin his life after retirement. It's nice for the first time in my adult life to be able to do as I choose, um, come and go as I please, and to also be able to establish some roots. And From Canyons News, this has been Kenna Miller. That's all for this Canyons News Micro. For all the latest updates from the Santa Clarita Valley, be sure to follow Canyons News on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. For Kenna, Malia, and Jeremy, I'm Devin Savage. Thanks for watching.